Hi everyone, Renegade67 here with part 29 of Let's Play Ghost Trick. Last time, well, <laughs> it's been a good while since uh, last time, and I really don't remember what happened. So um, yeah, uh, well, some shit's going down, and uh, let's see. Can I can I talk to you? What do you have to say, good sir? This is part 29 of Ghost Trick. Poor Emil, is she alright? Actually, the girl who was kidnapped is named Camilla. Why is Dream, why is Dream talking to me in my head? Wait a minute. Emil? Could that be the Emil next door? Yes, I think so. Wow, I didn't know the Justice Minister lived next door. No, not me, my wife. It's so complicated. Yeah, I bet it would be pretty hard to admit she left him. The minister's wife ran away on him. Maybe they grew apart. What with him being so busy? Yeah, but you're right. Please stop gossiping me above me inside my own head. L O L. Justice Minister is like the funnies. According to what I heard, Mio was supposed to go to some sort of a lesson tonight. Those horrible kidnappers, they were lying in wait for her. But Emil didn't go out at all after all. She couldn't. She had a fever. Huh? So the kidnappers grabbed Camilla by mistake instead? Apparently. Emil and Camilla are about the same age. Kidnappers must have gotten the two of them mixed up. Look at us! It's my fault. If I hadn't asked Camilla to do that errand for me, this never would have happened. Yeah, you're a pretty big bitch. Alright, you asked her to bring the music box. Camilla. Well, maybe we're... Really all we can do at this point, unless there's more conversations. Which there isn't. Is to do what I think we have to do. No. Emil, 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 if I remember correctly, should be here at this point. If she's not, I am confused. Hmm, what's going on? Camilla is the one who was kidnapped. This little girl's bed is empty, too. Oh, shoot, is she not here? Uh. Not only the ladies, a point of words of love continues on without change. I have to admit I admire her dedication. But I'm worried about her daughter. Stop by again later to see what's happening. I am confused. Okay. Um, I know what we're supposed to do if we do this part, but I guess this part's not till later? Or there's more stuff we have to talk about in the minister's office. I'm pretty sure I talked about everything in the minister's office. Could be wrong. Hmm, maybe I can get over to Jow. Yeah, I can. So, Mr. Ghost, we meet again. I heard something happened. Something about a kidnapping. Some some kidnappers are saying they abducted the Justice Minister's daughter. That's terrible. What's their demand? They're carrying out of your execution tonight. Ha ha ha! I had no idea I was so hated. But the minister doesn't have to worry. I die and it's all over. Very simple. It's not that simple. Why not? Because it isn't really the minister's daughter who got kidnapped. It's Camilla. What? Camilla? I checked it out for myself. I'm positive. No, it can't be! Ooh. He's angry. By the way, Camilla told me something interesting. She said the one who killed her mother five years ago was Camilla herself. What? What are you talking about? That wasn't him! 
I'm the one who shot her. I'm the one who shot Amira. Alma. And when I'm executed tonight, that will be the end of it. Come on, I won't have to suffer anymore after tonight. What are you talking about, Jowd? After tonight, she'll have no parents. You're really gonna tell me that she's not gonna suffer? What an idiot. For a detective, you're pretty stupid. For a capable detective, you say some incredibly misguided things. <laughs> you dying isn't gonna end the girl's suffering. It'll just bring her new suffering. The only person's pain this execution is going to ease is yours. <laughs> is it true what Camilla said? Why don't you tell us what you know? No, I was wondering what we had to do. Apparently I have to do this first. Um five years ago. To be honest, I still don't understand what happened that day. It was my wife's Alma's birthday. We came home from work, and she went in first. Bang. Boom, headshot. I looked for the shooter, but there was nobody to be found. There was nobody there besides Alma and Camilla, just the two of them. So the little lady's mother died right in front of her. Oh my, that's so horrible! That's what happened to you, Lynn, except she didn't have a reverse button ghost. Camilla told me about it. She was crying. She said the contraption she made did something it wasn't supposed to, made an impossible move. An impossible move? It's been five years since then. I stopped thinking about it. I shot Alma. There's no other explanation. That's what I'd convince everyone of. Even me. But tonight, you showed up and gave me an explanation I never would have thought of before. No. Powers of the dead. We moved the... We moved the Cupid so that it shot to make the party poppers go off like they were supposed to. But what if the Cupid was supposed to go at the party party poppers originally, and someone reversed it? Instead of making them do what they were supposed to do, they made them do what they weren't supposed to do. What an asshole. Whatever it is. Of course, they're not still around anymore because they would have died at dawn. Didn't understand what work. If that's the case, it clears up all the mysteries. Maybe not all. There are a couple of other people who know about those powers. Mm hmm. Is somebody there? Can you hear me? I can sense your presence, you know. Yeah, she knows about the powers. Maybe there's someone else here tonight. Maybe that's why we the execution carried out for some kind of revenge. I presume not kid Camilla knew about those powers. No ordinary kidnapping, that's for sure. Looks like my wife's case isn't coming to an end after all. The only one who thought it was. Dr. Jowd. Still time before dawn. A little, anyway. How about you see this case through to the end before you die? Ellipses. Camilla was a quiet little girl, but she was good with her hands. Oh, with her hands? Anyway, she was a little genius at making laboratories and contraptions. But there were two very strange points about that contraption. First was, of course, the firing of the gun. Right, that was an antique gun I'd had on display for years. Nope. You're supposed to be surprised for her mother's birthday. The strange point was the movement of that Cupid. Cupid? Is 
there without turning around. Somebody made a change to the contraption's design, and then manipulated it. Possibly with ghost tricks. I don't know what to say! I didn't have time to think things through then. All I knew was I had to protect Camilla. I made a small adjustment to the scene, and turned myself in. I think I know what that adjustment is. There was a missing gun on that picture. Kind of adjustment. The gun, of course. The gun, eh? Come to think of it. No gun. There was no gun there, just a picture hanging on the wall. Of course not, because I secretly switched the gun out of the frame with the picture. I didn't believe what she told me about her contraption. But one thing was for certain. That gun was still smoking. So that gun really did shoot Alma. I hid the gun before I went to the police. You hit it? I put it in a wooden... Hello, music box! You mean... And the detective still thinks it's a music box. So that's what was in the box, huh? I got a different murder weapon ready to give to the police. My own pistol. And I did a few other things to make it look good. I won't go into the details. When I was all done, I turned myself in. Wow. Well, at least he knows how to make a convincing argument that it wasn't his daughter. That goes for something, but... It also put, sheds new light on why he was willing to escape from the prison like that. Maybe someone else was using ghost tricks. Maybe it's not his fault. Maybe he can find some way to prove this to the Justice Minister. And now that we've saved him, it's definitely possible. If he starts believing in us. Detective Jowd, is what you told us just now true? Yes, of course. In that case, there's still time. Still time. Time to solve this case that started five years ago. You didn't do it, Detective Jowd. And of course, little Camilla didn't do it either. So the true perpetrator's still out there, and I'm gonna prove it. Well, not necessarily. If we vanish at dawn, then they're probably gone. Camilla Snake. Sounds wonderful. Ah, Jowd's theme. Thank you, Detective Jowd. Where is that music box now? In Temsic Park. Camille left it there. I do this important evidence. You'd better go pick it up. Yes, sir, I'll go right now. Cecil, take care of Detective Jow. Do something about the kidnapping, so we can get the minister on our side. And yet again, I say, easy enough for you to say. What's going on? Deal me the deal, Mr. Death Row inmate. A little change in plans. My daughter has been ki kidnapped. I can't just go off to die without doing something. But, uh, you're in our custody, don't forget. Back at the prison, everybody's waiting for you. You're s with a special seat just for you, baby. And it's electrical. Then I guess we'd better prove my innocence on the double. On the double, is it? You sound so determined, my old friend. I want to save Camilla, in more ways than one. And that's all there is to it. I see, my old friend, in more ways than one. What say you, Mr. Minister? May we have your decision? Should the execution be here tonight, as planned? He's asking a question and not just sucking up. Ooh, well, he said it in a suck-up way, but, you know, think about that, guys. Or should we hold off and wait for this important evidence to come in? Again, if he was just sucking up, he probably wouldn't be like this. You can argue it's because it's his friend, but... Well, then again, later on, you won't have to argue. 
Because you'll know the real reason for everything he's been doing. The order still stands. Bring the prisoner back immediately and resume its enforcement. As you wish, Your Excellency. Minister. Hold off for five minutes, you ass! Have one of your boys arrange a prison van to pick him up. Would you be so kind? <laughs> he has a chair on the go. Cause he just sits so awesomely. Van shouldn't take about should take about ten minutes, I'm guessing. Your escape tonight was brilliant. Will you show me another miracle in these last few minutes of yours, Mr. Death Run mate? You won't, but I will. Well, um, let's just wait these ten minutes, guys. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so now I believe is when we have to Basically, we need the Justice Minister on our side. That's the only way to go through this. And he's not just going to talk to us. There's no reason. We have to get his daughter to talk to him so that he lightens the frick up. But how will we do that next time, guys? For now, this has been Renegade67 with part 29 of Let's Play Ghost Trick. And next time, we're going to convince some Justice Ministers and have a little fun with Miss Red. Bye. I still don't have an outro face.